Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And today I'm going to show you how to get your back buttons, uh, back and buttons at the bottom of your screen back, uh, if you don't like gesture navigation on the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G, Global Edition. No, I added the Global Edition bit, but if you think about it, it is a bit of an absurd name for a product. OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G. Anyway, um, obviously, the first thing to do is, if you're not already subscribed to the Tech Travel Geek, subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm just joking, you don't need to subscribe to us, but an, a subscription would be very much appreciated. First thing to do is pull down your notification shade. At the top right, you have what is a very v stylized version of a cog. Tap on that. And then in your settings screen, scroll down to pretty much the bottom and select additional settings. In the top of the next screen, you'll have system navigation. Tap on that and you have a quick screen showing you how to choose gestures, which is already preset and is the default when you're setting up your OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G. And then you can choose buttons if you prefer buttons. So as you can see, I've just pressed buttons and I immediately have them. By default, the button layout has the back button on the right, the home button in the middle and the multitasking button on the left. And it is stylized. It's different from Google's, uh, Google's icons. If on the other hand, you want to have your multitasking button on the right, and your back button on the left, you can select that. But the default one is over there. So I'm going to go with the sort of Google-like one with the back button on the far left and go back to my home screen. Easy peasy. If on the other hand, you would like to switch gesture nav navigation on, repeat. So pull down your notification bar, press the cog, and I'm sure I pressed that. Here we go. Scroll down from the top of settings to the bottom of the screen. You have additional settings. Select that. At the top, you have system navigation. Tap on that and select gestures again. Now, if you do set switch gesture navigation on again, you do get a, suggest, a suggested tutorial on how to do that. But I'm assuming that because you've hit this video through search, you're actually looking for a way to switch gesture navigation off and stick with your good old buttons at the bottom of the screen. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful to you. If you have any questions or you'd like to know more, please do leave us a comment in the section below. And if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and anything else we think makes the travel experience better. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.